Well, hello again, and welcome to another episode of Holding History. In this one, I would like to show you something a little different. I always try to show you something just a little bit different. Uh, this is a project that I've been working on for a while, and it is near and dear to my heart. We lost my grandfather about a year and a half ago, and uh, it was a very hard thing for the family. And I thought it would be nice to build a set of silver... Uh, or just some type of collectible numismatics uh, in order to pay homage and uh, memorialize his life in a way that uh, hopefully will become a family heirloom, I would hope, uh, if we can get my, my daughter interested at some point. Uh, anyway, just to clarify, my grandfather was not a coin collector, uh, a numismatist, a silver stacker, any of these things by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, kind of a tightwad, and a lot of that passed down to me. But uh, really here is just uh, it's probably not something that he would have actually enjoyed to be honest <laughs> with you but it's certainly something that I enjoy and I just thought uh, it's just a way that I could do something that I love and at the same time pay tribute uh, to his life he's just someone that I respected uh, obviously very much so uh, what I have here is just a little synopsis a little plan uh, that I put together for how exactly to do this and I chose the amount uh, of a thousand dollars just as a, a, a good starting point just to, to build a set with that uh, I guess you would call it a thousand dollar challenge if you really want to but um, uh, anyway that's just what I had to work with for this and I'll just read this out because I don't want to miss anything so the goal is uh, to invest a thousand dollars into a set of diverse pieces with values that are driven by different markets so in other words something something from one of several different markets uh, in order to kind of hedge risk um, so although uh, each item is unrelated, uh, they should in some way represent something that's significant to his life. Uh, and all items should uh, be uh, of some composition of silver. And if there are any numismatic coins that are picked for the set, uh, they should be certified just to guarantee authenticity. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I have doubts about several of the pieces in my collection. Uh, so I wanted that not to be a factor here, especially in the day and age uh, in which we live. And also I wanted to set it a requirement that coins should be no smaller than a half dollar size uh, and that the entire collection should fit neatly so as to be uh, presented in a display case. So here's the concepts that I went through before ultimately deciding what I was going to do, uh, what I was going to include in the set. Uh, I originally wanted to do something that's just a numismatic coin, a bullion item, and a certified paper money item but um, my short list for paper money was really short and really specific and what I was really wanting to pick up is just not it just wouldn't fit within this uh, this con this price constraint uh, I was gonna take most of the whole budget and I didn't think that was fair um, to invest all of that in something that really doesn't have any intrinsic value it's only pure numismatic value and they're just you know we, the, the future is uncertain about a lot of this but uh, paper money is beautiful. I love it, and I, I wish that I could be certain about investing in a lot of high-grade pieces, but I'm just not there at this time. Uh, so I took a look at what was out there um, and what was produced during his lifespan. Certainly a di lots of different items, uh, but uh, my wish list was eventually honed down to uh, what you... Uh, well, there's several coins that you'll see over the next uh, next few videos, but it ended up... Um, with these five different categories. Five coins, one from each category. I got early United States issues, uh, 20th century business strike issues, early commemoratives, that's the earlier silver commemoratives pre-1955, 54 and earlier, and then uh, U.S. struck foreign commemoratives. That may puzzle you a little bit, but I'll explain. Uh, and then a modern issue. Uh, let me see if I can get to where you can read this. And then also in addition to the coins, uh, the bullion requirement was retained. Uh, so I still wanted to get at least 10 ounces of silver to be part of the set. And I wanted to try to find um, a type of silver bar that would look good with the coins, uh, as well as uh, just maybe hold, hold its value and maybe have a little bit more premium than just uh, some kind of a generic bar. So that is the premise. And... Uh, Take, uh, take a little break here for a second, and I will show you at least a piece or two from what I have so far uh, for this set, and I hope you enjoy. 
All right, here is piece number one. Uh, kind of shiny, so I had to go ahead and tone down the lights a little bit. Uh, a little 10 ounce uh, chubby little Geiger bar. I've seen a lot of you guys showing these off. Uh, you silver stackers here showing off boxes and boxes of these, and then they, uh, of course, make the kilo size and 500, uh, uh, 500 gram size and all of these different things. But this is just a, a nice little chubby piece of silver. Uh, the only thing that I violated uh, the rules on uh, has nothing to do with my grandfather's life. Uh, he did not uh, spend any time in Germany, uh, or did he really care for a bunch of anything, uh, you know, silver or precious metals. But at any rate, uh, just uh, I think uh, Silver Hustling 13 calls these Cadillac bars. Uh, I just like the look of it. I like that it was a struck bar. I like that it kind of incorporates a coin design of Schloss Guldengosse on there. And um, just uh, just like the look of this bar. So again, it's really kind of a, kind of doesn't fit in with the set uh, per se, but it's just uh, 10 ounces of silver to kind of hedge against uh, price fluctuation in the numismatic markets or, God forbid, the collapse, the eventual possible collapse of the numismatic markets hopefully far beyond our lifetimes. But anyway, uh, just uh, 10 ounces of chunky silver to be part of the set. All right, one last thing I'll show you before signing off for this video. I promise there's some really, uh, really nice, significant pieces coming up in the set that I think you'll enjoy. Uh, I don't have time to show you all of those at, during this video, but uh, this is just uh, the modern entry. I did tell you in the, uh, or you did see on the original synopsis of uh, the set that there would be a modern entry. And this is from the year that my grandpa passed. Uh, and of course, it's the March of Dimes uh, Proof Silver Dollar 2015. And uh, I haven't seen a lot of these on YouTube. I don't think they were great sellers, not a really popular design. Uh, I'm sure Salivate probably picked one up, but I, I, he probably made a video on it, but I, I don't I don't remember that. Uh, and, of course, you got FDR and Jonas Salk on the obverse, and on the reverse, you've got the wee babe uh, sleeping in, presumably, mother's arms. So, kind of a sweet coin, not a, not a, great, not a greatly popular design, but uh, of the ones from 2015, uh, this one did have some significance. Uh, my grandfather was a very generous person, and I would, uh, I said earlier he was a tightwad, but when it came to charities, uh, he was rather generous, so I wouldn't be surprised at all to learn at some point in time that he did uh, uh, give uh, quite a little bit to the March of Dimes at some point. The kind of guy that would, uh, you know, never could turn down a, a telemarketer uh, on the phone asking for money for charities, uh, and didn't really, was from, a, was from a time when, you know, you could kind of trust a stranger calling on the phone versus now when you really don't know where the money's going. So uh, anyway, just a, a little uh, modern coin um, that, that's just from the year of his death. So more coins to come. I'll show you the complete set before we're through uh, and uh, listen out for video two in this short series uh, coming up here hopefully over the next few days. Take care.